Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning soldier. So I know you all love math. So today we have a very exciting lesson. We're going to be solving two step equations. And we're going to use something called PEMDAS. Now before I tell you guys what PEMDAS is, can anyone raise their hand if they've used PEMDAS or heard of it before? No? Well, that's okay, because I'm going to tell you guys all about it. You're going to love it by the end of today. So before I tell you why we use PEMDAS, I'm going to tell you what each letter stands for. So P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So you might be wondering why it's PEMDAS and not MEMDAS or some other acronym. So it's PEMDAS because S, the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, is the order in which we solve two-step equations. So I know over the past couple of weeks we've been doing single-step equations, so you guys know how to solve. I'm going to give you an example. So you know how to solve x equals 5 plus 3. Just shout out the answer, everyone at once. Eight. Good job, students. Okay, so today we're just taking it one step further. And like I always tell you, math just builds on itself. It's building blocks. So if you ever don't understand something, make sure you tell me so we can catch it right away so you don't get confused the higher up we go up the tower. All right, so we're going to do some practice problems. The first one I'm going to walk you through. So the first problem is x equals 4 times 3 plus 1. So let's look at PEMDAS. So there are no parentheses, so we skip that one. There are no exponents, so we skip that one as well. But there is multiplication. So the first thing we do is the 4 times 3. So then we get x equals 12 plus 1, because 4 times 3 is 12, as you smart students know. And then 12 plus 1 equals 13. Does that make sense? Great. OK, so now I'm going to give you guys a slightly harder problem to do on your own. So the next question is x equals 4 times 3 plus 1, but look very carefully at how it's written. So I'm going to give you each about 10 seconds to think about it on your own. All right, Jackson, what do you think the answer is? Uh, 13. 13. So you think it's the same as the first one? Mm -hmm. Well, you are very close, but I'm glad you said 13 because that'll show us what we're learning today. So we got to follow PEMDAS again. So P is for parentheses, remember Jackson? So you got to add the 3 and the 1 first. So why don't we go through this together? What is 3 plus 1? 4. 4. Good job. So then we just have 4 times 4, which equals? 16. Good job. So do you see how the, why the answer is 16? OK, great. Next one, x equals 7 plus 3 over 2. Let's think about that one. All right, Miss Annie, what do you think the answer is? 5. Good job! All right, here are all the answers. 13 for the practice question, 16 for Jack's question, and five for Annie's question. I'm proud of you all. All right, now we're gonna sing a song to help us remember the order in which PEMDAS goes. Everyone pick up the song sheet from under their chairs. All right, ready? Dust, pepper, pen, dust, pen, 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 dust, pepper, pen, dust, pepper, pen, dust, pepper, pen, dust, pep